Hi everyone, I'm back again and kind of in a recovery mode today um, after some kind of a massive last 10 days of just traveling around and jumping over here and going over there and doing some courses and doing lots of fun stuff. Um, but I'm back at home and kicking back into gear and today I wanted to shoot you guys the message that has been on the tip of my tongue, um, basically from just getting to meet and connect with um, so many different people over this last little um, break. And what I wanted to dive into with you guys is this thing, this reoccurring theme that just kind of came up and up and up over and over again. And so that is why I have titled today's message that criticizing that which you've no experience with is like saying your religion is the only right one. Okay, and I get that there's a lot of people out there who actually think that and believe that and that's why I want to kind of talk into it. And what, what I'm really getting at um, in today's message is when we have an opinion on something that we have zero experience in. And I'm not talking just like, oh yeah, I think that's good or I think that's bad. I'm talking like that's totally wrong and it's got no value. Um, and this thing over here is the only right way. And you know, I see this happen time and time again. And the reason why um, I feel called to talk about it is because I'm pretty sure we're all blind to when we're doing this because if we were really analyzing what we were doing, I can I feel like with certainty we would go, oh, that's interesting. Like, how can I feel so strongly about something that I actually haven't had any experience with? And so what's happened for me is I've heard different people who um, I really gravitate towards and I really trust the information that they, they share different people from all these different fields are, you know, having this really strong opinion. But then when you ask them, oh, like, have you had experience with that? Or have you, have you done that thing? And they, all of them that I've experienced over this last period of time have said, oh, well, no, I actually haven't done it. But you know, like I just, I just know, like I know people who, who have done that, or I know people have spoken about this and I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. That could be the experience and there could be elements of truth. Absolutely. But the point is, you know, we, we have to stop being so close minded because when you're close minded and you have an opinion over something, but you've not actually had an experience with it, you could potentially be blocking yourself from the truth and you're say, saying and stating that you've got the truth, right? So you might be trapped in your own fallacy. And it is absolutely the same thing as, you know, I'm hearing this in the personal development realm where, you know, people have had certain experiences with um, different modalities or different frameworks and they're like, nah, that's that's complete BS, like just don't even go there. Um, and, you know, me being somebody who's like always fascinated as to why we do what we do, why we believe the things that we believe, how's that working out for us? I always ask the question, what's been your experience with that? And that again, like I said, so many of these people have said to me, Oh, well, I don't know. Like, I personally haven't had the experience, but other people have. And, um, and I, I'm just not going to go there because it's completely wrong. So the reason why I wanted to mention this to you guys is because it's easy for us to just categorize and put things in a box, put people in boxes, put different um, religions in boxes, put different, um, you know, personal development structures and modalities in boxes, put everything of the unknown into boxes with a title of them wrong, but we've never actually experienced them. So how about we stop categorizing, we stop boxing people and, and, um, and institutions and modalities and whatever it is, you know, just be of the mindset that I don't know if it's right or wrong because I've not yet experienced it. And even if you have had an experience with something, that's your subjective experience. And so you want to take it with a grain of salt too. What's true for you is true for you. And what's true for you may not necessarily be the truth for somebody else. So just bear that in mind. And you know, 
You always want to be challenged in your belief systems. You never want to stay structured and tight on anything. And the reason is, is because when you do, you lose your ability to actually grow and expand. You lose an opportunity to, you know, test your way of thinking, challenge things. And, you know, I'm somebody who has the mindset of, you know, I've gone into um, different, uh, you know, religious um, institutions and I've really gone in there and I've immersed myself and I've asked the questions like, what do you believe in and what is that and what's working for you? And I do the same thing. Like I couldn't call myself the human guinea pig of personal development if I wasn't traveling around doing that everywhere I go. It's about being open-minded enough to take in new information and particularly information that challenges what you've previously believed and get fascinated on that, right? Work out what what is this way of thinking that other people have, what's working for them, what may not be working for them and what do you want to therefore adopt or apply to your life that's going to take you that next step um you know further on right it's super important to be challenging your belief systems all the time and don't get stuck in the right and the wrong box right don't get stuck in closed-mindedness and realize that your subjective experience of the world is just that it's not the truth or it's not false, right? It's just your experience. And if you're gonna generate your opinions, make sure that they're based on your own personal experiences and make sure that you um, are being flexible and loose with those judgments and opinions that you hold, particularly when you're in a position where you are guiding other people. You know, this is a big key for me. This is why all of the masterclasses that I've ever created and ever will create are basically from my personal experience going into different people's teachings from across the globe, from all different angles on human behavior, human potential, uh, human development, human fulfillment, um, you know, personality psychology, all these different models and frameworks that might on the outside contradict each other or, you know, they're against each other or whatever, but I'm not against any of them. I go into them, I experience them, I take what works for me, I simplify, I systemize, and I share it with my audience and my beautiful clients, um, and not so that I become the person who is the go-to, but so that I just give people a taste of what's out there to not get so stuck in one-sided um, ways of living our lives and actually, you know, experience something totally different, experience a different belief system, experience a different way of um, living your life and thinking about your life and experiencing your emotions and actually just discovering who it is that you are, what it is that you want, and having that courage and that confidence to make it happen and stay flexible in your approach to all that you do. And I think that that's super healthy. And that's why I'm always delivering the messages to you guys to, you know, stay open to learn from a vast variety of different people. Because at the end of the day, there's not too many people out there who are open minded enough to, um, to, you know, to say, hey, check this out and check that out and check that out. Because most of us get stuck in our right and wrong. And we that's why, you know, we're not even that conscious of the fact that we're so black and white sometimes. And then we have to have people challenging us and we have to have people questioning us and why we believe the things that we believe. And we also want to stay, you know, really open to, to challenging the people around us as well, um, you know, and getting fascinated in how they think, particularly when it's contradictory to the way that you already do. Why? Because when you stay open and you stay flexible, you will win the game of life because you won't be closed off from the possibilities of something being better and and a new model of reality that you could be adopting that could create higher levels of fulfillment and growth and awareness and transformation and contribution and all of those great things. So that is my message for you guys today. I hope that it resonates with you and just gets you thinking about 
yeah, where in my life have I been a bit closed minded? I was like, oh, yeah, I've learned about that. I've thought about that. I've, you know, done and dusted, right? And actually, you know, that that might have just been one level of your development and you've closed off from a whole realm of possibility and different thinking because you got stuck in the in the framework of thinking that you just know it now, right? So just, you know, go at life with an open mind and just You know, if you're going to know anything, know that you never know everything, right? So that is my key lesson for you guys today. I hope that it serves you and just reminds you to not be closed-minded, always stay open-minded, and don't be afraid to challenge different belief systems, but do it in a way that you're actually fascinated and you're not getting attached to old models of belief. You're actually open always to a new way of thinking and a new way of living so that you can actually experience things and then truly know what's going to work best for you. All right, so... I want to check in with you guys. So please drop me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. If you've got any questions or comments or words of wisdom, I always love hearing from you guys. Um, But that is my message, you know, criticizing that which you've got no experience of, um, you know, is like saying that you, your religion is the only right one. Okay. And I know, like I said, people actually believe that, but you know, are they, you know, is it keeping them boxed in? Is it working for them? Or could there be a new, more open-minded way that they could approach life and approach the people in it that could better serve them? All right. I definitely want to check in with you guys. I have got James in the house and Alex and Raya. Hello to you, beautiful. And Sanford's here. Great. And Frederick and Terry. Hi, Vanessa. Glad you are in a better um, place now. Thanks for being, uh, your, bringing your positivity to an already bright, sunny Spain. Always, Terry. And I always love having you join live. And thank you for your kind words. And Grant is here as well. Awesome. <clears throat> and Sanford, nothing is right nor wrong, but thinking makes it so. Shakespeare. I love that absolutely you know whatever you choose to believe about things will create your experience of your reality you know and just don't think that you have all the answers and you've got you know the right way of reality there's plenty of different options and perspectives out there and uh, you know they might just be a little better than yours right so that's why I'm I don't, I don't, I say the same thing. There's not right or wrong in people's choices about how they want to think about things, but just be loose on the fact that if it's not really working out for you, if you're not feeling a sense of fulfillment and progress and meaning in your life, maybe it's about your thinking and your believing, right? And maybe you just want to go out there and experience what other people are experiencing with an open mind and a flexible approach. And it might just pay off to lead you in the best direction possible. So I love that, Sanford. And uh, <clears throat> it's, a, it's an extremely sad place to be. Absolutely. And that closed mindedness and they're so attached, right? And it, to me, it's just like, I because I get so fascinated with people and the way that they think and I'm I'm hungry to learn like what do they think and what's their opinion on this and and why did why is that the moment I ask them what's been your experience with this have you done it before and they're like no no I haven't done it and oh no I haven't actually had an experience with it I'm just like what like where did how can you have such a strong opinion on something um and to me it's just all about like that to me is like, okay, well, you, you really haven't thought this through and I'm, I'm not really, I feel like, you know, I'm not really going to go in that direction necessarily because I'm not sure where you're getting this information and I'd much rather, you know, digest um, things for myself first and foremost and experience things for myself first and foremost, but I'm always open to people's opinions and judgments, but you know, you've got to, you've got to try it out for yourself. And so don't have an opinion on something unless you've really experienced it. And if you do have a slight opinion about it, just stay open and flexible that that might actually not be true for you. And you'll only ever know what's true for you the moment you actually experience it for yourself. 
So, absolutely. And Daryl, hi from the Great White North. Love having you here, Daryl, as always, and each and every one of you guys. Thanks so much for joining me live, and I hope that this message has served you. So just remember that criticizing that which you've got no experience with is like saying your religion is the only right one. Don't be closed-minded. Stay open-minded. People out there have got a vast knowledge and experience to enlighten you with, to teach you about, to spark your interest in. So always go at life with that open-minded frame and a flexibility in changing and challenging your current belief systems. Hope this has served you. And as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering. And today's message has definitely served you. Thanks so much to each and every one of you guys who could join me live and contribute to the conversation. I am forever grateful and uh, love getting to connect with you guys. And I cannot wait to see you tomorrow.